But Aaron, but Aaron Donald, guys, back on April 11th, my birthday, he got into a altercation at the Boom Boom Room. First things first is when, like, boom, it, boom. like, like, like. First things first, like, if you are a football star and you are at the Boom Boom Room after 2 a.m., you are probably going to get in trouble. Let's just be flat, flat Nothing out honest. Nothing good ever <laughs> happens at the Boom Boom Room or any other nightclub after 2 a.m. I exactly. don't know why athletes, millionaire athletes, billionaire athletes continue to put themselves in these situations well well here is the situation that happened so aaron donald was back at home and he was celebrating a like a night out on the town with his boys and they went to a after spot many like a after hours p- party much like what we do here on the man hour a after show but this is like the after hours party and so they were at the boom boom room after the you know like all the bars <laughs> bars bars closed and him and a guy named <laughs> Da Vinci. We need to change the name of the show to the Boom Boom Room. That's not going to happen I at love, all. I love that name. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but here is what happened: Aaron Donald and a and a 26 year old by by the name of Da Vincent Springs bumped and he bumped each other uh, in the club. Me and Combs, we've all been to bars where you like you know you like. Somebody just, you know, like like they pump out their chest and they walk through the crowd, oh, yeah. like just I like, just like, like, and you hit them, and nine times out of ten, you're the bigger person. Like, hey, sorry, man, right? And and you just go, go about your way. Yeah. But when you're a football star in a and, and, and like you know like you kind you you kind of don't have like a off like a like just like a off like a off switch. Well, nonetheless, Mr. Springs and. Uh, Aaron D- Donald, they had some, they had some choice words, and I'm assuming it probably escalated some curse words were like, were like throwing around and like, and like all that stuff. But these two, but these two j- 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 gentlemen were asked to leave the club. Once, once they go outside the club, they find each other and they have another, another altercation. At this point, point in time. We, we don't know what exactly happened, but we do know the outcome. And, and, and like, Mr. Spriggs got a eye swollen shut, a broken eye socket, 16 stitches a, a across the eyebrow, and a broken nose. Uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Spriggs' attorney by the name of Todd Hollins says that they, will, that they will be pressing criminal assault charges. So first things first, Coke, though, though, Combs, would you be the type of person that would be following for criminal assault charges? charges if you kind of went like 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 let's just be let's let's just be flat honest like i kind of feel like he knew who he was and he kind of went after him like hey like i know you are a high profile guy i'm probably going to get my butt kicked so why not try to go after like a like just like a little bit of class yeah i mean look with this guy and Aaron, look, Aaron Donald comes off to me as probably one of the nicest human beings you'll ever meet. Like, he seems like he is one of those guys where on the field he's a monster, but off the field he is just, you know, uh, mm-hmm. like just one of the uh, – a very genuine guy. Right. And I I don't know what happened. I mean, did this guy see Aaron Donald and be like, oh, yeah, payday, and go up and just bump him and, and, and start something? I mean, who knows? Who knows what the situation is? Maybe Aaron Donald isn't the guy that I think he is. Maybe Aaron Donald did start it and, and throw some, you know, some shade his way or, or whatever right. the case is. But uh, again, why do you continue to put yourself in a situation? Why? Why are you at the Boom Boom Room? <laughs> I love that name. Why are you at the Boom Boom Room after 2 a.m.? And, and I get it. Look, you you have the right to go do whatever you want. You're right. a grown man. You are. You, you you can do live your life however you want. But I'm telling you right now, if I am a multi million dollar athlete, one of probably the best defensive end in football right now, probably the best player in the NFL. Let's just be honest. Yeah, it, it, there is no way that I'm putting myself in that situation. I don't care. It, it's not about. It's not about can I control myself. It's not about, you know, am I afraid of what I'm going to. It's the what if. Yeah. What if I'm out after 2 a.m. and there's some idiot out there with a camera and knows he's going to get a payday if he gets a reaction. Right. And he's going to try to draw one anyway. Like, there is nothing good 
that's going to happen there at two, after 2 a.m. There's nothing good that's going to happen there, period, because unless you are renting the place out, and that's the other, like, if you're going to be at the Boom Boom Room after 2 a.m., why don't you just rent the place out for you and your friends? Yeah. Like, that, you've got plenty of money. Why not just do that? Because that's what I would do. I'd be like, hey, look, we're just going to rent the place out for the night. You know, it's going to be me. I'm going to bring 100 of my friends and family, and, and we're going to have a good time. Like, because you're not you're not putting yourself in a situation. It just shows it, it's bad, especially in today's day and age. I mean, look, we live in a, a very cancel culture happy world right now like yeah. i can't believe half the stuff i'm watching on the news anymore and, and the stuff that they're saying oh well this person did this and, and and oh we should feel bad for this person because of this situation and i'm just like yeah not really like <laughs> <laughs> right you're throwing things in, in there that aren't in there and this is one of those things where i just don't know what to what to think i just i think where I blame Aaron Donald without knowing any of the facts is that he put himself in this situation. Yeah, yeah. So, me, me, like being like, what well, Aaron Donald's probably twenty six to twenty seven year like years year, years old, right? So he is he's at the height of his popularity right now, and and, and lie, I can call him. I I want to go on the record and lie. I can say I agree. I agree with you as a thirty plus year old male. If I had that kind of money, I I'm going to rent the place out and just have a grand have a grand old time. Yeah. But if I wanted to do that, why why does not have a party like like, like at my house too? You know, it, like it would save me it would save it would save me some yeah. two dollars and just have people like come over but to maybe, the house. But maybe maybe you want to get out of the house. I right. mean, look, COVID's g- kept everybody in the house. I understand wanting to get out. I mean, hell, like, I haven't been to a bar in in over a year. And I like I like going and hanging out with my friends and shooting pool and throwing darts and doing that type of stuff. Like I to me that's fun, but like y- you can't put yourself in that situation. The difference between Aaron Donald going to a bar with his friends and me going to a bar with my friends is that if somebody sues me, all they're getting is a large amount of debt. Right. <laughs> if, they, if they if they sue Aaron Donald, they're making millions of dollars. Yeah. that's the big difference. And I just me personally. I would not put myself in that situation, and that's that's the right now. That is the blame that I give Aaron Donald. Is even if this isn't true, you put yourself in a situation for your name to be out there, and s- you just need to be smarter than that. And that's for all athletes. It's not just yeah. Aaron Donald. All athletes need to be smarter than that. I mean, look at what's going on with the Deshaun Watson thing. I mean, now, right. you know, they said I think one or two of the girls dropped their suits. The rest of them were okay with putting their name out there, and you know. It, he's caught up in something where we don't know whether or not it's true but it just whether or not it is true you put yourself in that situation right and you got to be smarter than that yeah and then like i i, I want to give the advice to the what what my uncles gave me long ago if you are going to have be making millions and millions of of like the d- d- dollars you pay somebody aka your uncles to basically keep a guy around as a fall guy so if so if somebody jumps up in your face my 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 uncles would jump in and take care of that so <laughs> tori anderson says hey that guy bumped into him he deserved a sarcasm no but and like then, seriously like like at some point like you just got to be the big bigger person like hey my bad yeah. but stacy chimes in says i always get in on the craziest parts of the show boom boom room yeah. And then Drew chimes in and says, now serving French toast in the boom boom room. <laughs> All right. Man, our nation. Thank you for checking out that clip. If you're interested in watching the full show, the link is in the description. Click on it, hit that like button, share it with a couple friends. And as always, Man, our nation, rise up.